Alright, so in this video we're going to talk about Lewis acids and Lewis bases and using this idea of, you know, arrow formulas to show how electrons move, right? Rather than not atoms, but electrons. So we're going to show how electrons move in, in, in a couple of reactions. So, first thing to be helpful in Lewis acids or proton acceptors, Lewis bases or proton donors. Uh, so looking at this, we could say this is hydrochloric acid, right? And this is just a, uh, this is just should be right out in front of you. Uh, you should know that hydrochloric acid is an acid, right? So in this case, it will be my lowest acid, right? So what is this telling me? It's going to accept, it's going to actually accept a proton. So where is the proton come from, right? So I look over here. So if this is my acid, this has to be my base. Now, there's actually uh, two groups of lone pair on this oxygen, right? So what's really going on is this Lewis base, right? Because if that's our acid, this will be your base, right? This is going to donate because they're defined as proton donors. So this is actually going to donate a lone pair to this hydrogen right here. There's hydrochloric acid right here. So here's here's the deal. It's actually a give and take scenario. So, so they give hydrogen this lone pair, but they pluck that hydrogen off right here. As you can see, that's bonded to this oxygen here, right? So this will give it a plus one charge because remember we started with, we started with two lone pairs over here. Now two groups of lone pairs. Now there's only one group. And so if you do the formal charge, oxygen's formal charge, oxygen's valence electron is six. And so six minus one, two, three, four, five will give you a plus one formal charge. So that's really going, so that's what's really going on here. The chlorine now becomes negative because they took off that hydrogen, but gave that pro that 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 chlorine that initially had seven valence electrons now to be eight and so this is what protein uh, uh chlorine looks like i'm saying protein <laughs> this is what chlorine looks like right and so this is what's really going on in this electron so in this uh equation right another way right i'm saying that this is actually a electro feel or electrophile tomato tomatoes and this will be my nucleo why Right? Remember, nucleo, this word file means love. Right? This word file means love. Right? Nucleo means, we could think of it as a nucleus. So this is actually lover of a nucleus, we could read it as. So basically it's saying the nucleus is positively charged. So it loves positive charge. So in order for it to love positive charge, it has to be negative. The same thing goes for an electrophile. Or an electrophile, right? This we could read it as lover of electrons. They love negative stuff, negative charges. So therefore, it has to be positive, uh, right? So it's my nuclear field. This is my electrophile. So let's look at another example, All right? So we have this reaction here, right? And we're saying which one is our base, which one is the acid. Now, it would be helpful to know that anytime you see, uh, in general, you see a minus charge, that will most likely be your base in general. And a plus charge is usually denoted by an acid. Uh, but sometimes, you know, your acid do not usually ha uh, do not have plus charge. And so uh, finding out the base, you could find out the acid. So therefore, just looking at the plus charge, I know that this is going to be my lowest base. And this will be my lowest acid, right? Uh, right. So this will be my electrophile. And this will be my nucleophile, right? So let's look at what's really going on here, right? This will be my lowest base. So me that means it's going to donate a proton. Well, let's see if it makes sense. If oxygen has a minus charge, that means oxygen has uh, six lone pairs and a, you know, bond, a single bond bonded to this carbon, which is bonded to three hydrogens. Uh, so therefore, one of these lone pairs are going to come over here 
all right? We draw going to here and it's gonna pluck off one of those hydrogen, but it's gonna give, right? So this is gonna donate a, a lone pair to one of these hydrogens here, but it's also gonna take one of those hydrogens off, uh, right? And, and so taking one of those hydrogens off will give will give you this extra proton here, right? So so that makes sense, right? So let's look at this. How how can we make sense of this, right? It plucked off a proton here, right? So it plucked off a proton here, right? It plucked off a proton here, which leaves us with two protons, right? Because remember, we had three right here. It leaves us with two protons, right? So it leaves us with two protons, but it also gained a lone pair, right? So you could imagine the lone pair being somewhere, you could imagine the lone pair being somewhere around this, you know, around this uh this, this carbon right here but it's now put to form a double bond right to form a double bond right right to form a double bond and so forming a double bond uh you could see that this group electron right here just basically split up into right here uh, uh which gave which gave oxygen's negative charge Right, so a little bit more involved in this reaction, but nothing changes. Look, let's look at the last one. All right, again, we have some sort of reaction. We're trying to draw a curve, uh, uh, uh the formula. We're trying to draw the arrow, right? So, therefore, looking at this, any ammonia containing stuff will always be a base. Again, this is hydrochloric acid, so this should be a lone pair because we want this to be neutral, right? So this will be, by definition, this is my, Lewis, this is my actually Lewis donor, or Lewis base, right? So it will donate. So this nitrogen here with these two lone pairs are gonna come on and pluck off the hydrogen and give chlorine those two uh, uh, lone pairs, that two, that those two electrons. And so chlorine over here will look something like this, right? Well, six minus seven is one, right? It's a coin valence electron minus the total amount of electrons around it, which is six minus eight, will give you a minus one charge. Uh, this, um, donating this hydrogen, it plucks off a hydrogen, which is denoted by here. So plucking out this hydrogen, it takes this hydrogen and gave away its lone pair, right? So giving away its lone pair, taking this hydrogen, uh, you know, this hydrogen off will give you, you now four bonds. And then again, five minus four, right? Because there's four electrons around here, will give you formal charge of plus one so that's really what's going on with curved arrow formalism uh, showing where electrons are moving particularly in acid-base reactions